Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of 12 on Health. You're watching News 12 Connecticut, as local as local news gets. Now, residents of southwestern Connecticut who are uninsured or underinsured can still get important medical advice about their heart health. The local nonprofit Family Centers runs a program called Healthy Hearts, and they just found out the program will be able to continue, thanks in part to a $10,000 grant from the Aetna Foundation. Now, we have Family Centers Donna Spellman here to tell us about the Healthy Hearts program and Spellman works directly with residents to help them make specific lifestyle changes to ward off cardiac crisis. Yes. So you were there just today. It's kind of a group setting? It is a group setting. It's what's special about Healthy Hearts and different from somebody perhaps going to their doctor or going to, you know, to somebody in the medical profession is that I'm not a physician. I'm a regular person and what we do is we take this educational program into communities where we're very familiar with the community. For nice. example, where we already perhaps might be providing services in some other way, we mm -hmm. can go into a low-income setting, into a housing community, for example, or into um, an elderly community. And we really tailor the information so that it meets people's specific needs. Nice. Um, we're not going to tell somebody who is um, who, who has limited mobility, for example, to run a marathon. That right. wouldn't be fair. Right. Um, so we instead, we look and, and we get ideas from each other. We, we let people talk to each other nice. and figure out ways that we all can take command of our own lifestyles. It's nice because you, you start off by letting them know all the risk factors and what yep. they need to get a handle on. Absolutely. You don't want them to go by the board just because they don't necessarily have a primary care doctor in place to send them to a cardiologist. That's right. That's right. The thing about, about our health in general is that a lot of people feel that I don't have any control of my health. And what this program is all about is letting people know that, in fact, we have total control of, of how we're going to react. There are certain things, of course, that we're predisposed to. Sure, some genetic you know. factors aside, you're saying lifestyle changes. Absolutely. Specifically, what do you tend to go over with them? We go over nutrition, we go over fitness, um, but you know, even even taking nutrition um, into account, there are cultural issues that come up. You know, there are family, there are there are cultures that that food is part of a celebration. Mm. So we would never walk in someplace and say, "Well, you have to stop eating pasta." Right. Yeah, that's just plain bad. Well, that's that's not the goal. And right. who's going to listen to that anyway? I know. But perhaps <laughs> if people learn how to read labels and they know that actually, you know what, I do have choices. Mm -hmm. And perhaps if I had pasta tonight, then maybe tomorrow I can have something else. Yes. That's what this is all about. It's letting people realize that, you know, I do have a lot more control over my lifestyle and it's actually really not that difficult. Do you get them, um, either steer them to, uh, to a place for cholesterol testing and blood pressure? How does that work? We do steer them and in fact we work with many, many providers and partners in the community so that we even are able to have free screenings nice. um, on site at various places, particularly places where people wouldn't otherwise have the ability to go out and get those screenings. So much of it is about access. Absolutely. And if there is a language barrier, you can take care of that? Oh yeah, we have, we have staff who are, a who are able to provide this in multiple languages. And a, a big part of the program that we love is that we also train the trainer. So there's nothing better than training our clients to become trainers themselves. Right. Talk about communities reaching out to Isn't communities. Isn't that phenomenal? They'll really so. listen to their, their own. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Donna Spellman Family Centers. Thank we you. have a minimally invasive solution to a painful spine issue to tell you about. We'll actually show you the technology and the technique in 60 seconds right here on 12 on Health.